Hey, so I'm gonna share a really short video with you. And what I'm gonna share, it only takes about 40 seconds. It was an improvised musical moment that happened on a break during a recent Creative Strings workshop, um, an event we held, this one was held in Europe. We hold them all over the place. But the reason I'm sharing it is, there's really two reasons. One is because it's an exercise that you can do with your students or with other musicians. And it can also sort of inspire other similar types of exercises, ways to structure improvisation. But also because I think it reveals things about musical structure and can really inform the choices you make when you create musical structures, specifically around harmony and other structural elements. And so I wanna see what this kind of opens up for you. So the video only takes about 40 seconds and then I'll come back after the video's over. So stick around. Okay, so in case you didn't figure it out, each player was playing a free note. They were playing whatever they wanted and they were changing whenever they wanted to change. That's the structure of this improvisation that happened. And there's a couple reasons that I'd like to share it and, and what I'd like you to ask you to think about. Number one is because it's something you can try as a player, whether in a duo or a larger ensemble. You can also try it as a teacher if you have an ensemble of students or as a conductor, you can give visual cues to conduct the change of notes. There's other variations you can come up with for these structures. Part of the reason I love this exercise from a teaching perspective is because of the effect it has on the players that are engaged in it, especially classically trained musicians. I think that they feel really empowered by this. At least I do feel really empowered by this as well. Also, I just think it's really illustrative about the creative process. Number one, I think it illustrates that harmony is not as critical as we often may think, and that other structural elements can be just as useful or as important for helping us to, to, make, um, to make music, to make music musical. Um, also, I think it illustrates that the creative process, when it's boiled down, can be simplified to um, as just making simple choices. Um, and especially that when we provide ourselves with the right context, we can make those choices and we can actually make music from it. But I'd love to know what you think about it. I'd love to know what other implications it might have for you, other things it might illustrate for you. So please leave a comment let me know. And again, this happened during a break at one of our Creative Strings workshops. We hold these workshops all around the world. We've got six of them this year. You can click a link and learn about some of the upcoming dates and locations. I would love to connect with you there. You can also connect with me through online curriculum, bring Creative Strings to your school, or just reach out to me anytime you have a question.